All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we've got one more video to show you in our coding uh, series. We're looking at the Autel MS905, which is available at Diagnostic World, uh, www.diagnostic-world.com, or you can just click the link directly below this video. Um, we previously coded a few of the modules and control systems, like the engine, uh, the immobilizer, the airbags. Uh, what we're going to show you now is just the instrument cluster, the KOM instrument cluster. Uh, so we're going to hope to code this module if you've put a new uh, cluster in um, you can obviously show you how to uh, code it with the ms905 kit it's really simple uh, obviously we've already selected our specific vehicle uh, it's important that the the diagnostic kit knows which vehicle you're working on so put your information in. i mean you probably can't see that here but we've got mini mini cooper w10 r50 european right hand drive so we're going to click on instrument cluster, we're going to click OK. It's asking us to turn off the engine, but keep the ignition on. And we'll click yes to that. And we'll click OK. So it's telling us it's coding, it's got a 0% progress bar. Uh, that will eventually just turn to 100% once it's coded. Um, I'd, pr I'd like to see a progress bar sort of going up, but it doesn't do that. I just It's either 0% or 100%, depending on... Um, its progress through the uh, through the system. So what it's doing, you might be able to see a few dash lights going off here. Uh, it's just working its way through the actual um, dashboard. Um, it's telling us it's coded, but there are three faults. So it's good that it's coded. Um, what you'll always need to do is just check for faults after it's coded, actually. So we'll click on that. Click on read codes. So it's got uh, CAN bus, no engine speed from DME, uh, no engine temperature, no warning. Right, so obviously we'll need to look at those uh, in further detail. But the main thing is that it has actually, oh, let's just try, because these codes actually, uh, we don't believe they were there previously. Well, it's, it's allowed us to clear them now. Uh, as to whether they come back or not. We didn't previously have any codes uh, um, beforehand, uh, so whether it's it's something which has been stored in the uh, the cluster, I'm not sure. Uh, but there we go now, we've got KOM instrument cluster coded and passed. Uh, so it's an excellent little tool if you are uh, working on a few vehicles or you need to code your own systems or uh, you're a mobile mechanic, a garage, a workshop, um, doesn't matter what size this kit, it absolutely packs a punch whether you're working on a Mini, BMW, Seat, Skoda, VW, Benz or whether you're working on a Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce it doesn't matter, this kit is an absolutely fantastic piece uh, It's available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video and it will take you to the page on our website Thanks for watching and I hope this helps